Greetings, my pies. Oh, God. Hello, internet. Are you good over there? Yeah, I got a little startled because the moment it said you're live, I think someone ran the faucet downstairs because I heard like a drain noise. They're like, hello? Don't worry, the spooky stuff starts now because we are, we are back with more Alan Lake. Well, I mean, you know, the uh, the, the spooky stuff could have started. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Oh, God, you had a bird. Okay. Ah, my bird. The bird. Bird. The bird, the way, the way, the bird, 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 the 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 so it looks like they were going after the helicopter. Nope. Oh, oh, hey, man. Whoa. Miss me. Sorry, that was my fault. I shouldn't be taunting the, the taken. <laughs> you did, though. You just said miss me, which is not really much of a taunt. Fair. Oh, well, they had, and I'll tell you, no, the screaming hadn't quite happened just yet. Ah, right, okay, stop. Ah, go away. Okay, all right, we're good, we're good. I'm just going to check out here real quick, make sure I didn't miss anything. Yep, I don't see any missing coffee cups. Ah. Or manuscript pages? Yeah. Oh, wait, no, there is a coffee cup. Coming! <laughs> it's good. Oh, they actually all, they, they still have as little um, protection as they did before. Oh, that's nice. Oh, God, that guy's tall. Yeah, he's one of the big guys. Big boy. Yes, yeah, so where we left off, uh, Agent Nightingale has gotten killed by... The darkness, or at least, or at least yeeted out the door. I presume yeah. killed. And Sarah looked to one look at that, and she's like, all right, what the hell is going You don't even need to tell me what's going on. Just tell me what I need to do, because she's awesome. And, and we fought our way through town. Barry got the Eye of Mordor, a.k.a. a headlamp. And also garlic against darkness vampires, a.k.a. Christmas lights, that he has wrapped around himself. And uh, they're, they're taking us to the power plant because we're looking for Cynthia Weaver. Who uh, is, is the lady of the light? Who is the lady with the lamp we saw at the very beginning of the game? Yes, the one who said, "Be careful, young man. You can hurt yourself in the dark." And Alan's just like, oh, "Okay." <laughs> and then we think that she'll have some information for us. And here we go. And here's a new song from a band that they always remind me of our local rock legends, the Old Gods. I couldn't tell you why. I guess it's just you know, one of those things. Anyway. Here's Poets of the Fall and their latest single. <laughs> Sorry. Oh god. Whoa! What? Aren't you. Did he hit me? You went charging the other way, but I had a, a flare.
Coffee. Coffee. Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think that would be in the song. Oh. Uh-oh. The power plant glowed in the night. It was close, but I had to find a way across. Well, too bad these are active power lines, and you could just zip line yourself over there. Yeet. Did I saw glowing paint? Yes, I did. Thanks, Cynthia. <clears throat> yep, thank you once again for Lady of the Light for leaving me a little cash. It is, pretty, do. it is pretty funny that um, Pat says, like, oh, yeah, you know, she was coached with the phone. Oh, oh! Whoa, hello. That Because that was actually the real life fan that performs all of the old gods of Asgard songs. That must be um leaning on the fourth wall. Oh definitely yes. It's great. <laughs> yeah. Well glad I would hope so. You worked on a power plant. Whoa! Dear God, that made the bowl. Yep. Whoa. Ah. So I do wonder what part of the power plant requires you to work with a um a, a hammer. Yep. Um, that's a good point. Because yeah. Well, I mean, you know, some things would need to be affixed to the walls and stuff. Okay, what about a pickaxe? Oh, okay, you got me there. I'm <laughs> oh, sorry, so that guy had a pickaxe with him. I have a pickaxe. Careful. Never! Making her way through the water pipe alone, Cynthia was angry at the writer. A foolish young man, taking unnecessary <laughs> risks. And the way he broke the rules. Didn't he understand what was at stake? Maybe not. Since the terrible days in the 70s, she hadn't wavered once, as hard as it had been. She was tired of protecting the town all these long years, and now only wanted to rest. Aww. Yeah. Why do I have a bad feeling about that? Because of Town Lake? Uh, that's fair. That is a fair point. At least in this case, though. Like, honestly, when an elderly person says, I only want to rest, that usually does not have the... Uh, Best connotation. Yeah, I mean, honestly, even if she was younger but still said that, it would still would have, you know, pretty grim connotations. But I have to admit, mm -hmm. her age does not really do a whole lot of favors. Mm-hmm. Ah! Hello, Dad. Back up into the electrical wires, please. No, that's not the electrical wire. <laughs> Whoa, hello. Looks like I have a shovel. Yeah. Okay. Coffee. Pause in the middle of a big ass taken attack to get some coffee. Yes. And then you know what I hate? That's not even the dumbest thing you have done in the name of coffee in this game. Which is saying something. Which is saying something, yes, because you said what? That was very, very dumb. Oh, there's a chair up there with a page on it. Now I'm trying to think. Oh, damn it. Now I'm trying to think of what is the dumbest thing you have done for the sake of coffee in this game. Uh, running for the coffee while the um, kidnapper was trying to shoot the uh, taken and failing that, horribly. That's it. Because you know what? You didn't even have a gun of your own in that case. No. Excuse me. Hey, hello. Wasn't that the same kind of chair that was in the. Um... Yeah, the mining. Yeah. yeah. Come true. Touched by the dark presence, I had written the horror story, but the end was still missing. The story was incomplete, and the last unfinished page of the manuscript still sat in the typewriter in the cabin study. If I could get back there, if I could read the page, then I could write my own ending of this story and save Alice. Alright. That's. Okay, we got a plan. That is a plan. Oh, oh, we were supposed to go this way. Wee! Wee! Bonk. Wee! Bonk. <laughs> Alan's just like, ow. My knees. Ah. Light. No time for resting. 
We have coffee pages and the lady of the light to find. We have coffee pages? Coffee, comma, pages. There was comma. no pause in that sentence, my dude. There were coffee pages. And now I'm just wondering what on earth a coffee page even is. is Don't it, know. Is it edible coffee? Or is it paper that has coffee all over it? Paper that has coffee all over it. <laughs> what is it? Oh my god, what if that's the way to actually defeat the dark presence? Instead of just, um, you know, instead of like having this horror story need to come true, like, you know, accidentally on purpose spill coffee all over the stuff, make all the words run together, and you're like, ha ha. You don't get to, uh, you don't get to make the rules anymore. The story is now illegible. Although I do wonder if that would make everyone start speaking gibberish. Basically, they would just sound like, you know, Honestly, they would just kind of sound like you when you imagine Link talking to somebody in Tears of the Kingdom. Yeah. Um, hello. Right. Hey, Mr. Bridge. Ah. All right, good job. More birds. Yeah, some more birds. Please react with more. Right, they're coming at your face. Oh. They're coming at your face from multiple angles. Send help. I like that the, I like that from the thing has, I like that the, uh, objective has become, you know, it went from across the transformer yard, which was a relatively big area with a lot of, you know, like, it's basically a little mini maze with the broken wires. Uh-huh. To now just cross the bridge. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Well, that was easy. Thanks. Where's, where's the, there we go, coffee. Oh, that's why this area over here is broken. Oh my god, it's broken everywhere. What happened here? Oh, yes. Hi, Springs. Are we men dreaming of being butterflies or butterflies that dream of being men? If I'm a butterfly that's dreaming of being a man, I'm a very sophisticated butterfly. Dramatic, dramatic expression. An absence of creativity. Creativity. Uh oh. Oh wait, I know, I remember this one. Oh, this one's funny. Meanwhile, the bridge just keeps spinning. Yeah. Thank God you're here. Please, it's in the basement. <laughs> you know what I love too is that they, they, this is clearly live action. Like, people filmed this so it could be put into the game. Yes. And I think that that's great. Meanwhile, the bridge is the still bridge, spinning. The bridge is still spinning. Or is that too moronic? <laughs> it's just like, oh yes, you know. Too moronic. I just love that. Like, oh ladies, could you just go upstairs for a cup of coffee? Oh, if you think that's best, yes, by all means, leave the strange man with the strange hole in your old ass shady space and go get some coffee. 
Which is very appropriate considering there was a thermos. Oh, hey! Hey, guys! batteries. They lost all mine in the helicopter <laughs> getting me. Probably just shoot it before it got taken. Yeah. Or even the dog was gonna appreciate fine footwear because it doesn't have feet. Which is really I mean it could. It's wearing a lady. Girl That's lady. fair. Oh the great that she's all in black, so who knows if she and she's also wearing a dress, so then who knows if she yeah. has the power plant um, side. I'd seen a version of it painted all over the area. Coffee! Safe haven. Right. Hello? Right there. Miss Weaver, Cynthia, I'm a friend. Prove it! Uh, you knew Zane, Thomas Zane. You're the Lady of the Light in the song. You can help me. About time. Young man, I've been waiting a very long time for you. Possibly longer than I've been alive? It's in the well-lit room. Excuse me? What you need to drive the darkness back. The well-lit room is at the dam. I built the room to keep it safe. Well, that's clever. Will it help me find Alice? Will it get me back to the cabin? Fine, let's go. I can get my friends to come back with the helicopter. Oh, we won't go outside. Never in Wait night. My that's rule number one. You've been breaking the rules, young man, and where has that gotten us, hmm? Yes, you want me to do it. Young man, you're the one who likes to break the rules. I can't be outside in the dark. Kill switches outside. I get that the... <clears throat> I get that the darkness, like, you know, is actively coming at, the, at Alan because the dark presence wants him, but I wonder what on earth is with Cynthia, like, if she goes out, if she does go out in the dark, will the, will the tea king come out? Quite possibly, because they know about her, and it could, I think it was implied, again, that she was corrupted by, or not corrupted, but she was uh, touched by the dark before and then saved. Yeah. It does make me wonder what exactly that means, because I feel like they don't talk, they don't because she was touched by the darkness and the state, you would think that that would mean you know, she was, was willing to do okay. grunt work for her to get her And people can know about the darkness and the taken without... 
uh, she had been living this insanity for decades. Without, you know, being fully, like, corrupted or fully targeted. Look at, I mean, look at Sarah. Yeah, but it, it could be that touch means that sort of like, like, um, Rose and, mm. and Alan, that, you know, the darkness has sort of, like, influenced them, but it hasn't fully taken them over yet, possibly because it needs them for more. Rule one, never go out at night. <laughs> it, you know, because it could be that it, the, um, the darkness needs them for I could see some the reason. Mm. That would cut the power to the transformer yard. I will say, I have to admit, at least right now with Sarah, um, she is kind of being hunted by the darkness, but that seems to be less because of, like, touching her, like, uh, or something like that, and more because she's helping Alan. Yeah. Yeah, and it could just be that because she got away, she never wants to be captured again. Oh, look! Can. I thought you were pulling out your big-ass shotgun for that. Like, no, I pulled out the pistol for it. That is overkill, my friend. Whoa! Okay, okay, careful. Careful. Alright, good. Uh-oh. You didn't set yourself on fire. Everything's fine. The transformer should now be good. I also love that she's like, yeah, man, you're the one who likes to break the rules. I'm like, well, you know. The world hasn't exactly offered him much of a chance. Mm-hmm. And now I've got to run back while the dark is trying to murder <laughs> me. Ow, that actually kind of hurt my ear a little. Sorry. Oh. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> Hold on, that again. There's no voice like, no. I know that not every, I know that not every kick and encounter is telegraphed with the slow zoom in thing, but Lord, that was complete, that was so untelegraphed. I didn't know. Okay, taking care of my tools. By keeping them away from you and your angry, stabby, bashy weapons. You know? Yep. Get back, Mr. Chainsaw. Way too many leather face ran off lately. I am not dealing with you. Stop your catching something. Leave me alone. The man. The man. Thank you. I have to admit though, the uh, the bright lights right in the doorway is actually pretty clever because it'll keep it taken off of you as the doors slowly this open and shut. And if he was a taken or influenced by the darkness, they would probably hurt him. Yeah. This way. We need to go. I knew them both, Tom and Barbara. Such a crush on him. Such a beautiful James man. I was jealous. There was a part of me that was maybe a little glad when she had the accident. You mean when she drowned? And then Tom started writing and, and woke the darkness up. He tried to bring her back, but you can't do that. There are no free rides like that. That's I'm fair. starting to realize that. In that case, no dance ex machinas. Perhaps you're a smarter man than Tom was. Which looked like her. But it wasn't. Barbara was sweet. He didn't understand until it was too late. He tried to undo it, wrote himself, her. Everything he'd ever written out of the world. But you, but you saw all of his was so stuff in a, in a box. Remember it at, at the no cabin? Thing. Yeah. Well, maybe he wrote that out of the world, too. There's only one yeah. thing behind in my head. In case it happened again. Insurance. You trusted me. Perfect. Perhaps used me a little. Tom knew how I felt. Knew I wouldn't refuse it. I built the well-lit room and put it there. It's been waiting for you. We are characters trapped in a story you have written. And none of us will survive to see the end of it if the darkness isn't stopped. She'll twist the story to her own dark ends. She's already started, it, really. Tom, that's the way he wrote it. He still talks to me in, in television, from beyond, from below. Um, both okay. touched by the darkness, young man. He saved us both with light. The darkness. He's with you. You sustain. You sustain. Yeah, I know what that is. 
This pipe will take us directly to the well-lit room. Okay, I need to call my friends, tell them where we're going. You could have done that before you went underground. Barry, we're headed to the dam in one of the pipes. Meet us there. Okay, I'll tell Sarah. It's Sarah now? Uh oh, uh oh. Oh, oh god damn it, the birds crashed another helicopter. Barry! We gotta go see if they're okay. They're yeah, not really. Dead. You must reach the well lit room. This is no time to be a selfish idiot. That's my best friend. And, and a very awesome sheriff. Which the town needs. Yep. Oh, oh my dear god. god. I'll use the pipe. I'll meet you at the dam if you make it. Thank you. Good luck, my dear. Jake. Oh, Alan. <laughs> Alan, why did you do that? Why did you do that? He looks like a gymnast. Dear God. <laughs> he looked like he was like somatically T posing in midair. Oh no, he, he had both arms up like. Wee! Exactly, T posing. No, it wasn't quite T posing. Oh, Y posing. They were above the Y M C. Yeah. That's just basically what happened. Was almost starting to I'll tell that one. Well, yeah, they could turn this into a win yet. Suddenly. There was a piercing sound, uh -oh. like a table saw gone wild, as a hundred birds made out of shadows swarmed into the rotor. Oh, dear. The chopper bucked wildly and the board lit up, telling her what she already knew. They were going down. Barry Wheeler screamed next to her. Oh, good luck. Goddamn birds. This is the second helicopter they've crashed, at least. Yeah, and here's some... Yeah. <laughs> Alan basically just, just yeeted himself off with... Being like, it's fun to stand at the YMC. Ow! Because <laughs> he fell to the ground like a moron. Don't do YMCA on uneven ground, especially not at night time. Yeah. It should be rule number two. Rule number one is don't go out in the dark. Rule number two should be if you do go out in the dark, don't do the YMCA on uneven ground. And you feel like that's not a rule you should have to say, but you never know with these. Well, you really don't. Nope. Oh my god. Whoa! Oh god. Okay, I mean, as you shine the light, it seems to it seems to push them all back, but you it, you only hear like one like snapping sound, like when the darkness covers breaking. Breaking the yeah. sound of the one second. This is what you want, and then all of them go down. Yeah. Right. You see them falling from the sky, but once you hit that snap, mm -hmm. then you're good. Yeah, you need to destroy Barry, enough of them. Sheriff Breaker! Sarah! The crash site looked bad, but as far as I could tell, the wreck was empty. Oh, thank God. Oh, there's a trail of flyers. Oh, that's nice. On purpose? <laughs> Well, it ran with this way. Ah, oh, yes! Yes! Barry! Yes! Oh my god, you're alive! Yes! Woohoo! That was a five way kill. That was awesome! Big damn hero, like shooting a big ass square into a middle of taken. Woo! You know when to make an entrance, Wake. We were ready to make like Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. <laughs> I have a different ending in mind. Yeah, thank you. I'm fine. Thanks for asking. Look at you with your Christmas lights. What was that? The flaming eye of Mordor. Weaver will meet us at the dam. Excuse me, I'm gonna go behind this dark ass rock and get a couple flares. Please. That's some hunting light for ammo. Welcome to life. Thank you. <laughs> go for it. Good wagon. Mm. Barry, <laughs> please. You know you love him. I do know I love him. 
<laughs> I also know that he loves Night Springs very, very much, dear lord. <laughs> oh, here he comes. <laughs> I know, right? No, but I can beat you. Oh, never mind. We got speedy boys. I should have kept the I should have kept that gym membership and then immediately the taken says Don't uh you know nothing beats a good time it's like he's rubbing it in. I can't get a shot. It's okay. They're, no, they're, Al, they're all over the place. Are you sure? Was that it? Are we safe? That was wow. I think we're okay. I didn't even have to fight them, I just had to run <laughs> to the light. <laughs> oh that works. Oh coffee. Barry, why did you say that? I feel like you're speed running so fast it's going through all the pre-programmed lines and they're just like, oh, oh, we made it. It's like, ow, they're all over the place. Meanwhile, you standing in the light, it's fine, they despawned. Yeah, that was less me speed running and just it's like I didn't want to have to fight two of them at once and so I knew that if I could get to the light, they would despawn. Well, let's face it, you were running quite speedily. That's fair. Uh, you know what's funny? I actually... I actually found out this uh, secret, this um, a little fun secret, a little fun fact. Uh oh. Yeah. Um. So Al's, you know, invisible stamina meter. Mhm. Mm it actually. Um. I think I've noticed that because you know he's running around more and more. Yeah. Oh gosh. Whoa! Oh, I think I hit him right in the face. on the edge of a cliff. <laughs> yeah, I do too. <laughs> you're something you're not afraid of heights. Or addicted to caffeine. Oh, I'm de this is definitely not going to be as easy as just going in that wood door over there. Oh, boy. Okay, wait. There's a button over there that opens the door. Oh, what's kind of funny is that like, when Barry first got here, he was able to look up Thomas Zane. Yeah. And, and actually, you know, found hits on the internet, but he couldn't find anything. So like whatever. Whoa, whoa. Oh gosh, darn it. You guys go ahead and find Weaver. She should be in the dam now. I'll have to make it alone through the top. So so if he wrote himself out of out of existence, I guess if he well he did do that in the seventies, the internet hasn't been invented yet. Yeah, and he could have left just enough so someone like like Alan could, you know, find the necessary pieces. Because yeah. you, you know, he also apparently left something for Alan as well. Yeah, but how in the world did he know that was necessary? <laughs> He's a down boy. <laughs> I mean, look. He, he was probably, it was probably a contingency in case that Arthur came back. Zane Shuba knew he had to remove all that had made this horror possible, including himself. That was the only way to banish the dark presence he had unleashed and now looked at him through the eyes of his dead love. Mm. But he also knew that despite his best efforts, it might someday return. So even as he wrote himself and his work out of existence, he added a loophole as insurance, an exception to the rule. Anything of his stored in a shoebox would remain. Okay. Oh, that's right. They were inside that shoebox. That's where the, that's where the uh, poems were. Yeah. 
Oh, that's funny. Does it just mean a specific shoebox or any shoebox? It must. Sense? It must mean a specific shoebox. Okay, that does that does make more narrative sense. But how funny would it be if you just if you just um found it in a random share box? Yeah, or and or like you just opened up this thing like, oh yes, this one book has all of his poetry. Oh yes, these are his slippers. These are his favorite slippers. Oh no, wrong shoebox. Sorry, sorry. Oh my god. Oh. Well, that's gonna be a problem. Oh, go away, birds! I don't. I. I. I think. It's, I think Weaver would have a consistency for that. Oh my God! There's like four different things. No, there's like five or six different swarms of birds. That's all I have to say about that. Apparently. Oh my God. Okay. Well, what room? Mother. Dun 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 dun. You gotta hand it to Weaver. She's nothing if not crazy prepared. She, yeah. she left these signs to multiple different ways of the, um, to the, the and why is there a car just halfway over the, halfway over the, uh, over the dam here, like, hello? The search line could even the odds. Yeah. Oh, it's so powerful it actually just burns them to pieces. It doesn't just break their, their shielding. Oh, yeah. Basically, they control flashbacks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I guess that would make some sense for, uh, for Thomas. I mean, he was a poet, and it sounds like he brought back Barbara through his poetry, so that makes sense why he erased his book as well. Yeah. And there is something a little funny too, because when he erased himself from existence, you know, it was in 1970, well before the internet, right? Mm -hmm. And yet, somehow, enough knowledge that he did survive to end up on the internet in some way, shape, or form. Yeah, uh oh. Oh, 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 Alice! Alice! Yeah. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Yeah. <gasps> Yay! Ah! Oh god, I see a dark tornado! This is just like the beginning of the game! Yes. Careful! She may be throwing planes at you again! Look out! Cares if she murders me anymore. Alan Wake shish kebab. Oh boy. Oh, coffee! <laughs> <laughs> okay, this maybe I I don't know if this is this stupid part yet. Oh my god, there's a car. They got the gate. Good, good, good. Okay, there's a lot of cars around. I'm trying, I'm out of stamina! Ah, help! I mean, we mean it, we mean it, guys, Cynthia! Fuck. Okay, I have to admit. It's a lot of balls for her to come up here. Mm hmm. You made it. Well done. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Oh, you're welcome. See what they were saying when they said that she may have had like some sort of mental break. It's it, yeah. it's almost it almost seems like an obsession at this point. But do you, do you do you remember what she was saying too when she said that it was been far too long and she should talk to Sarah too about changing the one to the station? Yeah. They'd love to build this. Yes, they did. It's my place now. An old war bunker. That explains it. Yeah, Lord. And I guess she just kind of claimed. I mean, she was a reporter. They're pretty good one too. 
but my gut, but I don't think there's any way she could have been born in the the room anymore because six and 33 and 118 need changing soon, and I don't want to climb up the ladder to change them because it's very late and I'm tired. And if you take it, I won't have to do that anymore. Oh, a shoebox. Oh, she's tired. The page was autobiographical, oh. a memory from my childhood. Wait a minute. But I didn't write this. It was a page written by Thomas Zane. None of them were supposed to exist anymore. And I don't see any Alan, books in there. Seven yeah. years old would fight sleep to the bitter end. When he did sleep, he soon woke up, screaming the nightmares fresh in his Aww. mind. One evening, his mother, sitting by his bed, offered him an old light switch. She called it the clicker, and flicking the switch would turn on a magical light that would drive the beast away. Aww. To imbue the talisman with all possible power, she added that it had been given to her by Alan's father. Alan never knew him, and anything of his took on mythical proportions in his mind. Aww. With the clicker firmly in his hand, Alan finally slept like a baby. Oh, now, baby. almost 30 so years so later, Alan thought of this as he stood on the rim of Cauldron Lake, the clicker in his hand. He took a deep breath and jumped. My mind swirled. I had given the clicker to Alice, yet it was here. Zane had written it into existence in a story I had written. Now there's a mind screw. Now there's a mind screw for you right there. Hello. I can get to her now. I can finish this. How? Okay. You're gonna die to the bottom of a lake? I think so. Oh boy. Oh god, it's the end of the chapter. Crap. Yep. Well, we're at the last chapter now. But can we just appreciate this? You know, Alan like told a story about the clicker, gave it to Alice, and apparently. He was writing a story, wrote, wrote, um, wrote Thomas, wrote Thomas Zane helping him, Zane wrote about the clicker and Alan's story, and it's like, wait, did, did he write mind, the thing into the first thing? I don't know. I don't know either. Thomas Zane did the same in the 70s. You will go no further. If I continue like the Dark Presence wants me to, the story I'm writing won't save Alice. It's a horror story. No one will survive. You know Zane, Thomas Zane. You're the Lady of the Light in the song. He left something behind to help me. The clicker. Alan thought of this as he stood on the rim of Cauldron Lake. The clicker in his hand. He took a deep breath and jumped. I put that. I can get to her now. I can finish this. Departure. Uh oh. Two years ago. <sighs> oh, that good. Good morning, sunshine. <laughs> Gonna have another power outage? Oh, oh. I think I'm hung over. Oh, Jesus. I had a hangover. Yep. My head was about to explode and the light hurt my eyes. I needed my sunglasses and painkillers to dull the pain. In one of my finer moments of self deception, I swore to quit drinking. All right, glasses, yay! There you go. Uh, the sunglasses made the world look bearable. Now I could keep my eyes open without feeling like a vampire in the sun. Okay. Oh, yeah, painkillers, yay! Oh. The pills worked fast. The prospect of being awake started to seem bearable again. Alright, now go get some water. There was a message waiting for me on the machine. See what we got. You have one new message. Thank you. Oh, are you still asleep? Wakey, wakey! <laughs> Trying to make them throw up because they're God, man. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Oh, Lord. Watch every single TV <laughs> show. <laughs> Do it anyway. I 
got people who give me the lowdown on books. I'm a busy guy. But this one, I actually read from cover to cover. I mean, I'm, I'm a big fan. Wow, thanks. Now, this might be a spoiler for those who haven't read the book yet. Based on the sales figures, the two people out there who haven't read the book. Yet. <laughs> but this last book is all about the death of the main character, the hard-boiled New York detective, Alex Casey. Oh, well, damn. There's been a lot of outrage about this. Why the hell did you kill Casey? What the hell were you thinking, man? <laughs> no, seriously, though. Seven years and six books is a long time. He was a gloomy guy to spend all your working hours with, and it was a good run. But it's time to explore new things. My next book will be a departure from the old for me. You selfish bastard. Always thinking of yourself. <laughs> certainly given us a lot of entertainment over the years. And now that you mention it, Casey was a gloomy guy. Never had much luck with his love life with the ladies. Was that autobiographical in any way? Don't look yeah, no you. kidding. <laughs> Casey's lady friends tended to die on him. With Casey, it was all about his pain. No, nothing autobiographical about that. I'm a happily married man. My wife is my muse. Mm -hmm. well, and she's still alive, hopefully. That's great well, at this point, she definitely would be. So, How's the publicity tour been treating you? Good? Great. But I gotta say, I'm glad to be back home in New York. Well, you've certainly been on the news a lot lately. Lots of parties and, um... You got into a fight with some paparazzi. Oh my god! Oh, man. <laughs> well, that guy was really in my face. I lost my temper. I know that wasn't cool. Uh, you are famous for that temper. <laughs> oh, you <laughs> also write several books. <laughs> well, your latest novel is called The Sudden Stop, and it's in bookstores now. Go get it. That means the two of you out there who haven't bought it yet. Ladies and gentlemen, that's all we have for you tonight. I want to thank all our guests for the evening. Alan Wake, Sam Lake. What's wrong? Do the face for a Sam. These are the best poets of the fall. Oh, my gosh. At least I've been funny. I told myself I could live with that. Are you gonna start with me about drinking now? You know what? Go back to sleep, Alan. Yeah, really. Go off to uh. start. Hello. What? Now you can't even talk to me? Well, this morning I was angry because you said you'd be home at midnight and you showed up at 7 a.m. and passed out in mid sentence. Well, that explains how you ended up. Are you angry? This goddamn tour. It's gotten out of hand. And aren't you home? Oh, honey. It's almost over, right? We can get back to normal, and you can start writing again. I'm sorry, honey. Alan, you're not thinking straight. Just take a shower and go back to bed, huh? Yeah, I don't know much about publicity tours, but I can see that it's probably weighing heavily on him. Yeah. A vacation. Just you and me. Some peace and quiet. Oh. Damn it. Two years later. And this is the vacation. God, it took them two years to go on that vacation. Holy crap. Jeez. <clears throat> what on earth happened? Bright Falls, present day. Somehow, the clicker was the key to the cabin. I had to return to Cauldron Lake to save Alice. Oh, boy. Well, how are we going to get there? All right. I'm going back to the lake to finish this. I'm going to write an ending to the story in the manuscript on my own terms to make it all right. Why can't you just write it here? The last page is still in the typewriter. I need to read it first. Everything needs to be just right. Zane tried to cut some corners, and it didn't end well. That's fair. Okay, ready when you are. Sheriff. I'm sorry, Sarah, but I need to do this alone. Nope, they're Lord. <laughs> Why do you have to do that? Miss Weaver, close the door when I leave. Barry. Barry, look at his thing. No, <laughs> Barry. He, Al probably knows that he might not be coming back from this. Oh, uh, something tells me Barry knows that dude instead of a beehive. Why? Why did you also have to pull the gun? I mean, you could have just said no. You didn't have to go to, like... Because, because he probably knows that she's stubborn and would insist on coming to help protect her town. Okay, that is that is fair enough. Oh, yes. oh. oh, well, hello. Well. Clicker. Had it done this? I didn't stop to question it. I had to take advantage of the sunlight to get to the lake. On so I'm going to pull over to this area and stop. Mm. Excuse me. Also, I'm gonna take this car that someone just conveniently, conveniently left here because, like, they have been doing the entire game. 
Well, honestly, it's probably was they've been they've been just leaving it there, and it is entirely possible the drivers have been taken. Well, given how many people were in that last chapter trying to murder me, surrounded by the beauty of the Pacific Northwest landscape, it was hard not to let doubt creep in one last time. I could still chalk everything up to a dream, a delusion. I had enough imagination to make up something like this, oh, having God. been in the cabin all this time, trapped in a story inside my head gone mad from grief over Alice's death like Hartman had claimed there would be no way of knowing I told myself it didn't really what matter doing over there? You want like to get selfie? Said, I was seeing if I could read the board oh, also okay. can we just appreciate first off Verizon billboard yeah. again can we also just appreciate the fact that he stopped got out and looked out despite the fact that he's apparently in a rush yeah you know? well he he's having a moment where he's like trying to make sure this is like you know real because Let's face it, you know, he's about to go dive to the bottom of the eighth deepest lake in the entire world with very little recollection of what's even down there in the first place and if anything's going to be possible. It would, I, I don't blame him for wanting to see if there's some way he can remind himself, hey, you know, this is a real thing. And then, of course, there's coffee. Yes. And there's, now there's also porta potties in case you want to take a leak before you go dive into a lake. Also, someone apparently left a set of batteries and some pistol ammo just out on a random picnic table. Uh, no. along... Oh, it's a can. Never mind. No, no weirder than any of the other places you found pistol ammo. Fair enough. <laughs> also, too, are you sure you don't want to use the bathroom? I'm not sure if there's any bathrooms in the dark in the dark place. <laughs> that just reminds me of Avatar: The Last Airbender when when the, when the <laughs> one character gets back in the spirit realm. It's like it's like do they have bathrooms in the spirit realm? As a matter of fact. They do not. <laughs> yeah, that was one of the first things that happened. I remember it was the first instance we really saw the spare realm when Sokka gets taken back, and you know he and Katara are hugging, and she's just like, "You've been trapped in the spare world for 24 hours. How do you feel?" Sokka makes a Sam-like face, like I really got to use the bathroom. <laughs> Where is it? Ah, there was, there was a chess si signal down here. There it is. Oh, there we go. Like, I, okay, I get that, you know, it's right now, it's the middle of the daytime, but seriously, Ellen, do you not have your flashlight? Nope. Like, damn large, did you, like, I know it's, I know you have the clicker that can make things bright, but, like, you need to light up this specific corner of the thing. Just, you, you hide your flashlight, because I'm taking your flashlight. Yeah, he probably has it, he's probably just saving it. Oh. Yeah. Hunting it's, rifle! Yay! And yeah. it's a slightly more practical place this time. Yes, yeah, sir. I will say too, this is one of the first times you've actually managed to keep your guns between yeah. chapters. Um, I've only kept my pistol, but yes. <laughs> but yes, it is one of the few chapters where you actually keep a weapon. Yeah, well that's fair. He did just, cause, yeah, you know why? Because that's the pistol he picked up to threaten Sarah. Like, dear lord, I, I, I get, I, he probably wasn't going to shoot her first of all. And he probably did want to make her back off, but bro, you could have at least given her a second to to like you know be stubborn before you aim the firearm at her he probably didn't want to risk her her following him and getting hurt i i i i, I think that you're right but yeah like I, I i can understand what led him to the point i just feel like he missed about five steps of negotiation before they got to that point i'm like bro yeah oh okay so the darkness is still messing with things because i can't use my car now oh well damn stop Oh. The darkness had touched me. There was a link between us. Always would be. I could feel its presence again, getting closer. Oh boy. Oh, oh there. Oh god. I think that was the... Oh! It's night again. Oh crap. Oh, I also kept my good flashlight. Yay! Thank god. At least you have the sense to take that. Alan, there we go. Yes. Probably the only reason she hasn't done it yet is because she wants him to see it so mm -hmm. he can know that it's real. And there's nothing that he'll be able to do to change it. Yeah. The Dark Presence was no longer trying to capture the writer so he could create the ending it wanted. The writer knew too much. He was too strong. And he carried a weapon left behind by Thomas Zane, something that could hurt it. Now, the darkness was doing everything in its power to simply stop the rider from ever reaching Cauldron Lake and the dark place it came from. 
No, there's a lot of pages that I'll only be able to find in the hardest difficulty. Yeah. Nope. That figures. Yeah, that's fair. Oh, on the plus car. side, car! Car! Yay! Ready for some karaoke? I mean, I, yeah. Check a song. I've got the, the lovely bunch, bunch of coconuts. coconuts. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I think that's real. Is, is there more to that song? Oh! <laughs> um, I don't remember, remember much of it. I mean, it's just... Yeah. <laughs> I mean, bro, that was the shortest karaoke I've ever done in my life. Well, the, well, the darkness interrupted. And what happened? You just oh. drove over it. Yeah, oh, that way it's blocked, so we gotta go up here to the motel. You, oh. can, you can shine You can shine your headlights and just run over the Dakin. The darkness can interrupt all of it all at once. You have a car. The car is breakable, though. Yeah. But you're gonna break a lot of taken before you break the car. Oh. Oh. Hello. Based on the signature in the motel register, Agent Nightingale had stayed here in room number two. Alright. Mm, coffee! Day. Why are you leaving a coffee mug next to the toilet? My mom once left a coffee mug outside. I, it, it was one of those shallow coffee mugs, but I remember coming up and like, Mom, there is a coffee mug on the edge of the porch chair. And she's like, oh, so that's where I left it. And I'm like, Mom! <laughs> 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 How did that happen? Mm -hmm. She's also left it in my room before. Oh, my God. This had obviously been the room where Agent Nightingale had stayed when he hadn't been busy harassing me. And there's flashbangs in the kitchen, because of course. And... Oh my god, are those little pictures of you and Barry? Yeah. There's a couple of Barry. My god, man. The only Dr. Thing, Hartman. There's only the only thing that's stopping this from being a full con, like conspiracy board is the fact that there's no here one. It's the fact that there's no board. It's just all in the bedspread. It's a conspiracy quilt. Yeah. Miss me. Honestly, I have to admit, I think any taunting you do of the um, of the Taken now is uh, is going to be downplayed by Alan. Legit saying "down boy" in the last chapter. There, like at this point, go for it because he already taunted them so freaking much. Yeah. Also, can we just appreciate the fact that there are so many abandoned cars and stuff? Excuse me. Just yeah. it shows you how many people have been taken. Yeah. Yeah, it's a miracle that no, like, look, I, I know they have, it, it may, there may be some people whose, like, professions or whatever, like, it, it may take some time before everyone knows that they've been missing, you know, like, people who are out, like, people who are out hiking, or people who are park rangers, like, or people who do mining, you know, those people could be out of, like, you know, away from the main center of town for a few days so most people may not know this that they're gone right away but dear god when all of this is over unless Aaron somehow finds a way to oh god that's a tractor to undo everything yeah i uh, mean there, there are some horror stories i'm sure that end that way with the whole it's like you know everything is then made right at the end that is that is true but those are not but you have to be very, very careful because those don't always end very well. Those those don't always, like, this is more of an audience thing than anything else. But sometimes the whole, like, like hey, it was all a dream or everyone's okay can suddenly feel a little yeah. bit hollow. And you don't, and you want to be very, very careful because you'll need to make perfect sense so the dark, so the dark um, presence doesn't overtake it. Yeah. Oh, I think I see a deer at the end of this. Oh. Oh! Oh, oh god! Oh dear indeed. Oh god, it's destroying entire portions of the bridge now. Can we take more, uh, Can we use the clicker again, please? We may need it. I have to admit, how cool is he? Again? Oh god, evil refrigerator! No! That's the one that didn't save Indiana Jones. Instead, it got corrupted. Oh, 
it is actually pretty funny. This thing is possessing literal. The Dark Crescent is possessing literally everything it can get its hands on. And there was a lot of things for it to get it. Oh no, we're not all drums. <laughs> yeah, why is there so much stuff on this bridge? Exactly. Yes, I was just about to say that I got interrupted by an oil drum. Sorry. <laughs> well, was it your fault? Did you uh -huh. possess the oil drum? No. Okay. Ow. That okay. is not your fault. Yep. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's a crane. Okay, not a deer. Oh, thank God. I have to admit, it hasn't quite been that kind of one. Ow. Ow. Ah! Yeah, that's one thing I have to admit we haven't had to deal with. We haven't really had to deal with, like, taking yeah. The poltergeists are awful. I'm not gonna. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. But you said that the chicken bear came after you or something. Yeah. Or a deer. That is crazy. Yeah, the taken the taken diggers are enough. Jeez, that flash was so bright it blinded me. Oh dear God! I thought you died for a minute. Hello. No. I know that Alan. Nice to see you too. Oh yeah, because you know what? That's probably Tom who turned that light on for you. And highlighting a car. Thank you, Tom. Ah, uh, lovely. All right, let's go. Excuse me. Thank Coming you. through. Meet me. Hey, Dave. Woo! Oh, oh, oh God! It's possessing another car now. That thing is on fire. That bus is on fire, and there's no one here to be concerned. Oh, someone's coming through the farmhouse. We're gonna find the Anderson farm, aren't we? I don't Where think so. Ow. Ah! Stop! 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 You look nothing like Christine. Go away. I think I saw something going in this house, which I'm gonna go get before I go back to the car. Coffee! Coffee! <laughs> Alright. Yeah. No, then I'm gonna go back into that white area. Whoop! Nope, oh, how did that miss? Woo! Ah! Oh! <laughs> nice, nice touch. Ah, nothing. I admit the way that Cynthia was talking about Tom and what he did with, during his fight with the Dark Presence does make me wonder how much of the Dark Presence's current, like, current, like, you know, weaknesses and stuff were because of Tom. Like, it, she, like, you know, it seemed to, you know, it twisted his, you know, attempt at a deus ex machina at bringing back Barbara. Yeah. But, is he the one who's responsible for um, the limitations she has, and that you know she has, she's bound by the events of what's written? I don't know. That's a good question. Mm -hmm. Oh look, a, another a power truck. I have to admit too, like you know, this is the, like how does Cynthia know that she's you know a character in the story that Alan is? Hello, oh, that's a fire. That has written like at what point did she become aware of that? And she was probably a, a um. A character in a story that Tom had written, and so she recognizes it is happening again. Uh oh, the whole bridge is shaking. Ah! Ah! How is the end? Like, you're more wonder when she became aware of that, because that's something to have a freaking existential crisis about. Yeah, really. Like, in, like, character in the story, like, you're more, because you know. No, you don't, cause you don't flush out, ow, you don't flush out every single, like, memory and, it, like, nuance of every single character's backstory, and so, like, does she have, like, childhood memories? Like, like, how, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know either, I don't know how far to take this, this is creepy. And... Welcome to the horror genre. Get bro. <laughs> bro, please! <laughs> You may have played more horror games than me, but I have watched more horror movies than you. Fair enough, we're even. Yes. I'm gonna get rid of some of this because I have a feeling I'm about to be ambushed. Yeah. I've also read. Have I actually read any horror books? I feel like I've, I've read books that have horror. Like, that have horror. 
like elements in them. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right, that's a pretty good one. That's a pretty good word salad right there. I have to admit, I I do wonder. Uh, I will wonder when you're no longer about to die. Yeah, we'll, we'll we'll save it for the end of the ambush. Yeah. Uh, Tom, Tom, help! Oh, Tom, 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 Tom,
Must that's do not, your yard. Sorry, go ahead. Must sign a li- liability waiver. No. If, it, if you're looking for a specific part, you ask for it first. For you pull it, you must bring your own tools. Wearing protective clothes. Warning, junk piles may shift. Hazardous area. Gee, thanks. Yeah. But, I mean, poetry is not all that much. I'm going to go back to the thing about Tom for a sec. Yeah. Poetry is not quite, like, my, my, like, cup of tea. Like, I know there's... It's, yeah. It's just not, like, it, it, it can be very, very beautiful, and obviously there's so much, like, you know, it, there's, there's as much variation in terms of style and genre in poetry as there is in writing prose. It's just not, you know, something I'm all that interested in. Coffee. In reading. But with poetry, I feel like you have more flexibility to kind of paint surreal imagery and use metaphors and all sorts of stuff, right, because there's something that can be very dreamlike about it, yeah. or, um, like, there's kind of, like, there's, like, a vagueness to it, you know, it, it doesn't, you can be that way with, with narrative prose, it really depends, but I think most of the time, narrative prose lends itself to being a bit more grounded, right, and more, mm-hmm. more concrete imagery, less abstract. And we've seen already, and like, you can see that definitely with Alan's style here, Alan is very, you know, like, grounded. Yeah. In reality. But from what, from a few, from a few snippets we have of Tom's poetry, he's very, you know, he kind of lends itself to like, you know, the, you know, the very like, um, beautiful, fluid, great, like, almost kind of dreamlike mm-hmm. stuff. Dear Lord, corrupted by the dark presence, what on earth did the world look like under that influence? I don't know, but maybe that's why he thought that he needed to erase himself, just because it was so twisted. Yeah. Well, that is that is fair. But at least here, you know, the dark presence is supernatural and things get twisty and weird. But it gets twisty and weird in a concrete, understandable way, you know? The, t- the darkness overtakes the people mm-hmm. and gives the word powers and possesses the the um, the stuff and it's weak to light like it's all stuff that you can it's facts that you can share and understand but I wonder if some of it's like twisty like living nature like I think the weirdest it probably gets are maybe the not so much the poltergeists I would say because like the things that throw at you but the way it like can take over like doors and mm-hmm. gates, you know? And it's, stop you from getting through. The stuff that doesn't actively attack you, but is covered with just enough that you can't get through mm-hmm. to it. There's something about that that feels so intangible, you're not quite sure what to make of that. Mm-hmm. I don't know if that makes sense or not. I think it does. Oh, okay. this thing is definitely going to come to life. Ah! Damn! I wonder if some of those, like, kind of, those more abstract, um, aspects of the Dark Presence's powers. I wonder if any of that is a holdover from what happened with Tom. I don't know. Oh, F5. Baby! Yay! Zane cut its heart out. Oh my but god. But it didn't die. The thing that wore Barbara's face kept crooning sweet nothings sugar-laced with poison. Yikes. He put on the suit, untied the monster from the chair. The thing in his arms thrashed weakly, but he held fast. He stepped outside, off the pier, and into the dark water. A sinking pinprick of light descending toward a bottom that never came. <laughs> okay. So he cut out Barbara's heart and then dove into the lake. And she didn't die. Okay, fair. I mean, she's not human, so sure, she doesn't need to rely mm. on the heart to live, but... Okay. Still. And I understand, the, you know, the urge to try, right? Because, you know, not everything, you know, is, you know... She may look human, and every living thing has some, uh, like, you know, almost every living thing, you know, has some, has some, like, you know, full weak point, right? Whether it's the heart for most animals, um, lungs, you know, like, mitochondria for bacteria, powerhouse of the cell, and all that stuff. I know it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's probably trying to find some weak point with her. Seems like he did injure her because she was very weak when he took her down, but Oh, 
Why was that equipped? Uh, excuse me. I don't think that's the reason, but thank you for your input. You're welcome. I am just as confused as you are. Alan? Alan Duck? Alan Duck? Alan is so baby he can't even crouch. <laughs> Alan is too wide awake to duck. No, I don't. <laughs> Hi, hey, you're the one who, made, who who kept making all the Alan wake. Not to be confused with Alan sleep. No, not to be confused with Barry sleep. Uh, you did. You started off with Alan sleep, and That's then it progressed to Barry sleep. That is fair. Okay, I don't. I can't get the trust. When I told in. Barry my plan back in the well lit room. I'd acted as if I knew what I was doing. I think you did know what I you didn't. were doing. I was operating on the shifting logic of a dream. I had to fight my way to the lake through the horrors of the night. I had to flick an old battered light switch imbued with childhood magic. I had to write a happy ending to a horror story. I had to save my wife from the dark prison she was being held in. Yeah. I think also too what he would need to do with a um, with a story like this too, especially if it's the last page, is like he would have to do it very carefully. And it may also be because he wants to keep things true to his to his own internal logic. It may be that the pieces of the story he's put together so far just don't give him the option to do some of the things he wants to do. Yeah, that's fair. Mm -hmm. Like this so far has been a story where the dark presence has supernatural powers, but the light, but the humans don't. So mm -hmm. he can't just give himself superpowers, I guess, is my guess. I don't yeah. To give her to you. You don't need to give her to me, I will just take her. Uh -oh. Bonk. Um. What was the point of that? I'm not even near that. I think it's going to. Well, something's going to collapse on you, and apparently farmers are the opposite of hunter gatherers. I saw that. Oh, tell me. Just in case you wanted to know. Oh, hey, man. Oh, God. Oh. Where did he come from? The shadow. Where no, but, but there was like no indication that he was there. No noise of the chainsaw or anything. I know. That's, 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 yeah, the moment where I shriek and hurt your ears a little bit, I have felt the same thing. I'm like, oh my god, he just appeared out of nowhere. There's mm -hmm. no telegraphic for that. I guess he was practicing. Oh, you know what? He was practicing his stealth. And you know what? He turned off his flashlight pan for that. Which is fair because he doesn't even have any flashlight pants because flashlight turn and oh boy, that may have been what that was about. Good! Ah! Here's got the entire farm is coming down on you. Hello! Say, say cheese, guys! Oh my god, this is the worst photo subject ever. Of all time. <laughs> <laughs> what? Why are you why are you quoting uh Mad Eye Moody from Harry Potter? No, that's not even Mad Eye Moody, that's freaking Hermione. Oh. Because you know okay, because you know what she says it after Mad Eye Moody has already turned Malfoy into the into the thing. I think that okay. Let me see if I remember correctly. I is um is that it's after Moody has turned Malfoy into a fish. And you know, uh, it's a little bit later, and um, like a few days or weeks later, and you know, Malfoy's giving them trouble again because that boy does not learn for like forever. And Hermione just starts bouncing up and down on her feet, smiling and waving over the shoulder, saying, Hello, Professor Moody! And Malfoy flips out. 
Understandably, because he was turned into a ferret the last time he was messing with the, with um these this golden trio. But he turns around, there's nothing there, and her eyes like twitchy little ferret, aren't you, Malfoy? And he's just like, oh, fuck. The dark place I found myself in was unlike <laughs> anything I could ever have imagined. It wasn't solid. It flowed. It was conceptual and subjective. For someone else, an artist in another field, it would have been very different. I could sense the story of the manuscript all around me. The words and ideas floating in the air, poised to become real. That's interesting. I feel like in that case, he it, because he wrote this story while he was in the dark place, that's probably how he's able to get any idea of what it actually looks like. And I feel like that's yeah. less of him, you know, like, tr like writing a story that will shape reality, and more like he, him, you know, like having to describe the surroundings that he's in, because the dark place has yeah. already, already been created around him, and the only way he can even describe what it looks like... Or a peak in the distance. Yeah. That's where Calder Lake was. It's because he was there at the time. He, yeah. he could look out the. He was in the cabin, but he could look out the window and see how creepy and fluid it was, and abstract and conceptual. Yeah. Which actually do sound like things you could, um, you could. That sounds like imagery that could be associated with poetry. Oh boy, minecart ride! Oh my god. How is it that you know you have you have Tears of the Kingdom and Alan Wake, two extremely different games? And you get to go on a minecart, and you get to, and you get to um, mess with the enemies while you do so, because they're birds flying up there. Oh yep, yeah, and here they come. Oh, what? Ah, what happened to the flare I just shot? Oh my god, it bounced off of like the cart and. <laughs> uh, I had my own rebound incident today at work, so I was I was collecting a pickup and I was throwing it all out. I was throwing the envelope. Um, I was trying to throw it to bye-bye. Oh, You're trying to throw the envelope. Through the window, and I try and get it to land on the filing cabinet, you know? Because mm -hmm. I'm like that. I actually did succeed twice in one day, and I was very proud of myself. This time, I did not at all. It hit the top of the window frame around where we hung the decorative leaves, and it freaked out it onto the floor, and I'm like, oh dear God. No, no one was in the office at the time to witness that, but my coworker, when she came back in, and she's like, it is on the floor. I wonder how she did. I wonder how she got down there. I'm like, yeah, I did a rebound. It was great. Oh. I have a little bit too much fun with those pouches sometimes because you know I'd be like, oh here, you know I collect the money, but then I turn it into whoever's at the at the office, and then I'd just be like, yeet. I usually don't make it, but that was a, that was a very epic fail. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Although there have been, been a couple times when, uh, okay, we have since moved the trash can, and this was not because of me. Yes, I do feel the need to point out, but there have been a couple times when I tried to do the same thing, hit the container that held the stamps and knocked that into the trash can. Fortunately, it's only just like, it's mostly just dry papers and stuff down there, and we're able to recover all of the stamps, so I'm like, oh dear. <laughs> and my co my coworker is like, why? How did, like, how did you do that? I'm like, I don't know. It was just not good timing. Eight. Eight. Ah! God, I thought she was sticking a train or a minecart on you. It was going to launch itself across and try and kill you. But no, it's a bird. And coffee. Or, oh, well, she's not sending the coffee at it. The bird's very... They are launching themselves across the gap to try and kill you, but they will hit you with less force than the oh. minecart. Okay, okay, they came from under the bridge, and I couldn't see them. That is just not fair. Yeah, well, let's face it. When does the dark presence ever play there? Fair enough. Really? Nope. Oh. Oh. Dark scoop. Whoa. I have seven flare gun ammo. I'm gonna stick with that, that for now. Oh, right by your feet. Yes. <laughs> oh, cans. <laughs> yes, no, those are not. Uh, I know, I thought they were flashbangs too. I'm like, oh, wait, no. Those are not. Those look like empty alcohol. There we go.
go. That's the feel for you. Just all the clicking sounds of me changing my loadout. I know, out. I know, I know. And I'm, I'm also into that too. I'm like, hmm, this is an interesting noise. Oh, ah! <laughs> Literally. Also, I love that Alan. I love that Alan's response is literally just dead. Like, yes, exactly. Yeah, maybe you shouldn't have left it behind. <laughs> well, I know why you did, but still, there is something a little funny about listening to him say that when he was literally out of damn when he started this like of his journey. Whee! Ah, nice light, nice warm light. And I gotta run. Oh, bumper power. <laughs> yeah. Came from? Yep, that's part of a boat. Yep. There we go, yes. Alan has now graduated to the S word, which is fair. Let's go. There we go. And there goes the trade. Oh, coffee. Oh, great. There's another boat! <laughs> oh, there it is. Woo! It's, it's like it's gonna be funny. You remember how when you were on your way to the farm, there was that one generator, and you're like, oh god, I don't think there's a way that I can get this started, like, without getting murdered, because mm -hmm. you didn't have any weapons at that point? Yeah. Yeah, I think that's, um, Ty, I, I saw, I saw the ties on the, um, I saw the subscribes on the, uh, the TV trope page. You know what the trope was? Noob killer? No. What? Schmuck face. Of course. <laughs> but the thing is, in the past, I do remember that at least once I did actually manage to activate it. And what happened? It just, you know, it turned on the light. Ow. Ow. Ah, boat. Okay, look, I get where the boats are coming from. It is a lake. It's a big lake. It's a big lake. Sure, but... Some of the other stuff she's throwing at you is like, I, I swear to God, heaven. <laughs> uh, that is a big ass boat, dear God. That's the other half of the boat of the piece she threw earlier. Oh, God. Did she, did she throwing, like, you know, then the plane makes sense, you know, people could have crashed a plane in there, but. Sometimes, like, damn. It's like there's like a mine cart at one point, or a train or something that she threw at you. I'm like, okay, well, someone had an accident. Hello. Please. Well, remember there is that there was a like mining area that was like right near the border of the lake, so yeah, uh, I could definitely see a train derailing and mm -hmm. the darkness wears her face. Yep. Oh, okay. Yeah, definitely gonna have to fight a lot of enemies out there, so it's a good thing I have my my weapons. Mm -hmm. Controls to take in. Uh, Oh, oh that, that thing is pointing red, so I cannot use it yet. Yeah. <laughs> it's blinking red very hard, actually. It's hard to look at. Yeah. I hear chainsaws. Oh, great. Right. <laughs> so, the need to go back to bed, it's not quite your morning time yet. Woo. 
nothing in here. Oh, I don't think so. Oh, it didn't kill him, but it still knocked him down. Yeah. Uh, oh, my God. He's sick. He's really sick. Mm-hmm. Well, like some of the others have been, some of the others have been uh, taller than, some of them have been taller than others, but that guy was, that guy was a beefy man. Yeah, also, I think one of the speedy guys got zapped by the lightning from the, uh... Yeah, I saw it swinging around. Mm. Oh, Paige. Ooh. It's one of the first lights that you've had break on you in this chapter. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ah, let's see what we got here. After Zane had gone, I stood alone in the shifting dream that was the dark place. I had to find a way to the cabin. I'd written myself a way through this place in the manuscript. I followed the idea of a path. I had written myself across the ocean that blocked my way, and with that, there was a bridge to the island beyond. The, the idea of the cabin mm. flickered in the underwater darkness. I willed the cabin to be real, and it was. Hmm. Oh. I just wonder what the sequel's gonna be like. I know, I know. Turn back now. No. If I haven't turned back now, like if I haven't turned back yet, let me what could you what could be your show that you can throw a bunch of like my cart cars and dumpsters together? Oh. And Using all the flashbangs. No! I never do what I'm told. I'm grumpy. I'm a grumpy I'm a grumpy man who loves his wife and starts with his best friend and I don't do what I'm told. Cynthia said it herself, I break her rules. And I even want, and I actually like her. What makes you think I'm looking at yours? What, the person whom I actively hate right now. Holy crap! Oh, shut up. Oh! Whoa! Okay, that was so sick. Oh my god, that's an actual tornado up there. Oh, yeah. Oh. Ah, mind the cars! Mind the cars! I'm trying. Destroy the tornado. We'll figure something out. Uh, I hope so. Because otherwise we're going to for a world of hurt, my friend. Hold still, buddy. Hold still. So this is going to be a really stupid time to say, and this is going to be a really stupid thing to say. Can we, can we just appreciate how freaking clean Alan's clothes have been, even though he's been wearing them for like about 10 days at this point? Damn, son. Says you. Oh, very nice, There's a school bus in there. Yeah. Oh, endless square gun ammo. Whoa. I guess this is what way to find a tornado. Whee! Don't try this at home, kid. Although, Grant, not unless you're finding an actual tornado made of darkness rather than, you know, just a normal tornado. The dark presence is coming after you, by all means, sure there's many players on it as you need to. But, um, if, if, if it's just like an actual tornado, don't, don't do that. Yeah. You're just going to set everything on fire. You will fail. Oh, shut up. Off the lake. Oh boy, here we go. Oh, we Dutch Stilton. We Dutch Stilton something fierce right now. He's got the clicker. He's got the clicker. I think your hand is warm. <laughs> now he's T posing for Dominic. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Good morning, sunshine. What the? I 
as much as you can. Hi. Okay. Shh, baby. You were having a bad dream. Uh oh. It was just another nightmare. Uh oh. Oh no. Everything's fine. You're home. Oh, we got the window. It wasn't a dream. No. Everything's yeah, fine. Right. Nope. Turn the uh -huh. lights on. Turn the lights on. Yeah, it's true. It's it seems. Yeah, it's it is pretty dark in here. Shh, baby. The power's out. There's no light. Come back to bed. And I'll make you forget all about your fear. Okay, well that's not Alice. It's your fear. Why aren't you afraid? You're not Alice. Turn the lights on now. Where's the clicker? What did you do with it? Alan, you're scaring me now. Come back to bed. Have you taken your pills? Do you want me to call Dr. Hartman? Come back to bed, Alan. Come back to bed. <gasps> I read your manuscript. It's brilliant. The culture is impressive. You're a genius. I'm so proud of you. Come. Oh, nice, nice. Tom. Hi, Tom. Oh boy, you're having a time, aren't you? Look at you. You must find your way to the cabin. It stands in your way. It won't let you pass. I thought you just said I didn't have one. No. Oh. Oh. Hmm? Oh, hi. Uh, how's it going, buddy? Who are you? Don't mind him. He's Mr. Sir. Your friends will meet him when you're gone. I do mind him. I mind him very much. I don't like the look on his face right now. Okay. He started off looking like a shy smile and then it got creepy. You see mm -hmm. how creepy? On him? Sure. Gladly. From what I gather, oh, it's a silver bowl. That's nice. Wait, could it be? Oh, oh, oh hi, Alan. Alan, Alan's like, oh, like a couch. That's nice. Where am I? Go away! Bird. Barrel. There's a phone. Who are you gonna call down here? Can you call the Ghostbusters? Can they come help? Phone is ringing, or is that just me? <gasps> it is ringing. The idea of a path. Idea of a path. Okay. All right. Oh, cool. Nice. I'm you. What? I'm leaving you. I met someone. I'm in love with someone else. Alice? No, you're insane. You can't. You don't love me. You don't even love yourself. All you do is torture yourself. No, I, I love you more than anything in the world. You're, you're my muse. Oh, my God. Who are you? What have you done with my Alice? Alice? What are you doing? Put the light back on. What are you doing, Alice? Stop. Bird like cabin. It wasn't true. Nothing like that had ever happened. You're not my Barbara. Oh, that's a rocking horse. Oh, no. Wait, is there a rocking horse? Did they have a kid? I don't think now so. you will never get her back. Oh, there's a hole in her chest. Holy, holy crap. I am much older than you. That's fair. So? Older than your first work of art. No, that's fair. I'm only like something. I will find a new face to wear. Uh, someone else to dream me free. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Whoa! Yeah! Woo! Use the clicker right in the chest. Right in the chest. Wow! 
now what? Now I guess we gotta go finish the story. Is the, um, seems like the cabin is like sinking underwater more, or is this just the Dutch tilt? I cannot tell. I don't know. I could feel Alice's presence close by. Yes. I understood what I had to do now. I knew how to write the ending to departure. That's fair. He only has the one. He there's really light only has the and one page. Mm -hmm. Cause and effect. There's guilt and there's atonement. But the scales always need to balance. Everything has a price. That's where Zane had gone wrong. He had tried tried to bring her back without any kind of there's book. A long journey through the night. Oh, oh, oh. The time was going back. Oh my god. We're back at the beginning? We're back at the, okay. Alright. Oh no! Oh. You can see her being dragged down by... Yeah. Oh. Oh. Time is it? going backwards. Are we sure it's going... Yeah, I guess it would have to, but it's a little, actually a little hard to tell, really. Yeah. But how far back is it going? Like the last know. ten days or so, or longer. I don't know. Wish I had been counting. I should have been counting. Could very well be fourteen. That's fair. Ten, fourteen. Hi, hi, hi there. How you doing? Are you good? Oh, Alice, is that her? Is that Alice? Yeah, it is. Oh, she's alive! Yes. <laughs> Gotcha, come hold her breath for a while. Come on, honey. You got this, you got this. Keep going. You're getting there. God. The broken bridge. You're alive! You alright? You're right there? Okay, she's got the pass. She can get herself up. God damn, she must be freezing. Yeah, look at her. If that wall, if that lake is so deep, the water is cold, it seems like it's not good. It looks like she barely made it up, too. She's like choking. Oh, yeah. Ellen? Oh. Ellen? God damn, yeah, where's the... Where's the... The car yeah. is either crashed... Or it's back up at the top of the cliff, but she might not even have her keys or anything. Her clo... I mean, their stuff, well, their stuff may still be in the car, but or may have been in the lake, which, in, in the cabin, which is now in the lake. She has no clothes. She has no money. She doesn't oh, know boy. where, she, she doesn't know where anyone is. Yeah. Holy crap. But she's alive. That's at least something. And she's here. Yeah. She's back on the surface. Oh. God, she was pretty far away. That was pretty far up yeah. there from away yeah. from oh. town. Looks like everything is normal. Well, it's a little hard to tell. Okay, there's a plane. Yeah. Oh, dear fest! Oh, oh well, yeah, that's a thing. Oh. That's a thing that was happening. Oh yeah, everything is definitely back to normal. I mean, look at this. There's no destruction or anything. Yeah. Yay! Dear float. Yeah. That's Pat Main, and is the older guy like? Stucky or uh, I don't I don't know. know. Maybe. Oh, the Andersons. Yo, boys. What up? Oh my God! Look at them go. They're square dancing. Yeah. Oh. Hi, Rose. I guess she's okay. Now Nightingale really... in the background. I... Is it? Holy crap! It is. He's alive. Oh, they're typing. Mm. They're still typing. It's not a lake. Um. Um, Alan, wake up. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> did, it, did this just mean, did you hear his voice get all like weird and distorted at the end? Yeah. Almost like a Taken. Yeah, well, he is out of the darkness, and it looks like whatever he did, he may have traded places with Alice and at the same time managed to make it so that way people didn't die or that he was the only one that went missing maybe maybe uh, yeah, it's it's really kind of hard to tell i mean rose is at least oh like roses seems to be back to no 
Rose seems to at least be normal enough because last we knew, you know, she was it held in police custody. And comatose. And comatose. I mean, Sarah was saying that she was like really messed up. She was having a problem, but now she's able to be back out yeah. amongst everyone else. Nightingale is alive, but creepy in a very different way than he was before. Okay, granted, he wasn't exactly creepy before, but he was problematic. And now he's just playing creepy. Now he's creepy. Now he is creepy. And it's like, you know what I don't get? And I, I have to admit, I didn't get this like the even the first time I remember seeing this is, um, you know, if there's the whole like equivalent exchange, you know, like there has to be in balance, you know, like he has to, like, and that's why he's down there because he took Alice's place. Mm-hmm. My question is this, if that was a no, if that was like, you know, equivalent exchange, what the hell does Mr. Scratch need to be created for? I don't know. I don't know either. Mr. Scratch is weird. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I like, have so many questions and I cannot wait for the sequel, which comes out in like eight days. Yeah, yeah, next Friday. Next Friday. Who are we ready, everyone? Very much so. Can you believe it's been, I mean, what, this game came out, what, in like 2010, 2011? Mm-hmm. And we look, yeah, we looked this up. Yeah. So it's been 13 years <laughs> since it released. And Remedy has released like three or four games in the meantime. Yeah. One was... of which directly um, relates to, or directly references Alan Wake, has a whole DLC about it, and in and was the first teaser to everyone that they were working on the next one. Mm -hmm. Because one of the um, one of the DLCs ended with them getting an alert from the outside that a um, altered world event, which is what this is considered yeah. in terms of like the um, the bureau where control happens, it's uh -huh. considered an altered world event. They they get an alert that another one is happening around Bright Falls, but the date is listed as years in the future okay. and there's no way that to, that they should be able to get that kind of alert because they are currently in lockdown mm -hmm. so they shouldn't be able to get any outside signals in mm -hmm. or you know it's like nothing in nothing out kind of thing yeah. so that, are you talking is that yeah and that's then, control that's control and then not only that too there's also a freak there's also like a kind of a sequel to this game too called alan wake american nightmare which i think actually takes place very much in the dark world and Alan is kind of going yeah. I'm actually he, not hundred percent sure what that what From what I understand he's is. trying to write his own story maybe to get out but in yeah. but he has to fight Mr. Scratch for for some reasons. I don't know what goes on with that. I do know that I think that ends with him being successful in that and him trying to write a new story called The Return or something uh -huh. something to get him out. But the DLC in Control shows that he, that Alan is kind of, has kind of lost touch with reality and he's using the manuscript pages that he's writing then to kind of, you know, keep track of what's going on because he keeps, like, losing his memory in, yeah. like, the chaos of the dark place. So, yeah. I do not know how this is all going to tie into Alan Lake, too. I will say, too, with Mr. Scratch, like, he's, like, he's the big antagonist. Like, he... It's like he is up on the surface and he is running rampant like he's following Alice around and like he's stalking her he's like torturing people I'm not 100% sure just how much of it is real and how much of it is stuff he's making up to mess with Alan because I think he kind of communicates through like television the way it does in here but like when you see like the clips of like you know him in the cabin you know freaking out or the Night Springs episodes but I do think at some point, like, Alice is, like, Alice believes that Alan himself is dead, so she knows that the Alan lookalike is not actually him. And there's apparently, she managed to get a picture of him. He's really up close, like, to the camera, and his half, the top half of his face is kind of blinded, but you see the bottom half, he is screaming. And it is so unsettling because he looks like he's about to attack her. But I don't know if he is something that was created from the dark place. Maybe he's screaming because she shines light on his face as a camera flash. Maybe I don't know. We will have to see when um, Alan Wake Two comes out in eight days. 
Yeah. In the meantime, we might start the game Soma in the meantime to, to fill your horror needs. Uh, and, yes, but for now, we are going to sit and digest this, um, the end of this, and Time Master has to finish getting ready for work. And, yeah. We shall see you all next time, my pie disciples. Good night, Internet. Good night, Internet. Stay safe, avoid darkness tornadoes. Have a fun Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> Good night.